In this video, we'll talk about some new media cards, a hub to connect to your iPad to help edit video, and some collaborative storage options from OWC. All right, real quick, this is Video Brand. Special thanks to our sponsors for helping make this NAB coverage possible. Metricool, Massive, Adspective, Vestigit, and OpenReal. All right, now back to the video. All right, what's up? We're here at OWC, and uh, we're talking workflow, capturing, all the way to collaborating on servers and storage. Uh, welcome, Sam. So like, what do we got going on here? So we are extremely excited about uh, completing our brand new Atlas Card ecosystem. We've, we had released the cards, but now we've got our brand new dual slot readers out and something really awesome that our CEO, Larry O'Connor, is going to demo for us, which is our brand new software, Energize, that really ties everything together into a complete end-to-end -end ecosystem for content creators as they ingest their media. So, Larry, you want to you wanna take them on a tour? Well, sure. Relatively speaking, the easy part is building a great media card. And we've been building great media cards. We've been building great SSDs for now more than a decade. But something that was really missing was that whole ecosystem that really is, really is necessary now for the high bit rates that cameras have today. The faster you're writing to a card, the, the less efficient the, the, the writing is, which is, what, is why a card gets dirty. A card has gotten dirty to a point where it really needs a proper reset. There has not been anything out there, and now we have Energize. This is just one of the three amazing things it does. The first thing I'll show is it does health check. You always want to know before a shoot the status of your card. You don't want to have a card that's ever going to give you issue. The After a shoot, after your shoot's all done, and you bring it back into Energize, you're getting those cards ready for the next shoot, you can bring your card back to 100% original performance, as if it's brand new. With all the Atlas ecosystem, you just click sanitize, it's going to give you a warning, it's going to wipe out, it wipes out all the data, and in the process of wiping the data, it's actually doing this at a low level, at a hardware level, and it restores that card to its initial fresh performance. So whether you sanitize a day after you've used it, three years, you've been using the card for five years, when you click sanitize, this card is as fast as it was the very first time you used it. And that's huge. The third thing, that our ecosystem does, that Energize does. It allows you to do firmware updates. When you run Energize, every time we release a new version of Energize, it's loading with it all of our current firmware. So there's been a firmware update, and you plug in a car that has a prior firmware, it will tell you there's an update. You click the update, you've got the latest. Now, when new cameras come out, there's firmware updates that add support. Now, no matter what we say for compatibility, when we say for compatibility, it doesn't matter when you bought our cards, all the cards you own from us will be compatible just simply by using our field firmware update. Cool, so you get that future compatibility with new cameras roll out? Yes, 100%. Yes. Now, Atlas does require our readers, and obviously your cars, and Energize. Energize is free. We charge nothing okay. for Energize. So you get that for free. We want you to be using our cards in their best state. Cool. We're so not you get mm -hmm. Energize for free, but it only works with the Atlas cards and through the Atlas reader. Correct, and that's not something we did to limit. You know, we have a very open architecture across the board. So there's special firmware on our cards, there's software firmware on all of our readers that enable Energize so that we can send those commands. So you don't need drivers, you don't need to do special command level, fun mm -hmm. stuff. You can just go into an application and click and go. So we're not trying to lock anybody out, right. but we're gonna, we can only control what we cool. can control. You have software copy that, right? For transferring? Yes. I think, do you see a future where you sort of have like the sanitized built in, you transfer your media, copy it, and then it gets sanitized? That's coming. We're doing one step at a time. But yeah, that, and when we do that, I mean, very, very important will be, and we'll be tracking that, making sure that before you are able to sanitize, unless you click a whole bunch <laughs> of things, that must confirm that your yeah. data has been safely transferred in checksum. Yeah. So that integration is coming. Uh, cool. And yeah, do you want to walk us through these, uh, the new readers? Totally. This is our CF Express plus uh, SD reader. It, I mean, it's very convenient. It has both design, never, do, never overheat, never throttle. That's a big thing. It has an integrated cable, so when you're on the road, portable, you have a short cable that recesses, so it's not gonna get in the way, not gonna get damaged. When you're back at the office or anywhere, and you wanna use a different cable, maybe you want a longer cable, you have a different application, you have it off to the side, you can use the port that's on it to correct direct to the computer. So you can either use the built-in cable or use your own cable to connect to your device, which is a nice flexibility. And the other thing our new readers all have is a write protect switch. So if you wish to be in a read-only mode, don't want to ever have an accidental deletion, flip the switch and the, the software recognizes, copy that, energize as well, that your, your reader itself is in a read-only mode and will not allow initialization or write. Here's our other product. This would be our dual SD reader. You know, same sort of, same concept, but read two SDs you know, at, this, at full speed at the same time. Same integrated cable you know, for portability and, and use, and same option, same write protect option, same option 
with your own cable as well. The one thing I do want to really emphasize as well, you don't have to buy our reader. I mean, you will get the same or potentially a better experience from our cards because we build our cards right. You can use our cards without our readers. You can use our cards without the software. You can use our readers with other cards. We are the only company, actually, that you're going to find that makes the card, the reader, and the software that's going to drive everything that Larry just talked about. And what's interesting about that is when you actually have that entire ecosystem you can create an experience. So it's not really about locking people out or of other places, it's about crafting an experience for people to make sure that their copies are optimal and that they transfer as fast as humanly possible and as fast as the cards allow, and then extending the life of those cards. All right, uh, and so what do we have here uh, storage-wise? So no matter what you're making, I guarantee you we make some kind of storage device that is relevant for you. So a lot of it is like cheap, fast, good, big two, right? And that could be NVMe, it could be spinning disk, it could be hybrid spinning disk or NVMe. But you know, we've got two bay Gemini's, four bay Thunder Bay fours, eight bay Thunder Bay eights. We've got our Flex Eight back there, which is the world's most interesting raid for professionals where you can mix and match you know, four sticks of NVMe in the top bay, then have seven bays below that, which would be all spinning disk media. So you can put your cache and project files on the NVMe, the spinning disk on uh, your 4K media on the spinning disk in a traditional RAID environment. Use our software soft RAID to build the whole thing. And then it's also got a dock, CF Express reader, and a PCIe card on the back of it. So it does pretty much everything, and that all happens over Thunderbolt. And then, by the way, we've got our little portable drives. Envoy FX is uh, the world's fastest drive for video professionals, or portable drive for video professionals. It's also indestructible, uh, or largely indestructible. This is the Envoy Electron, it's little brother. It goes at about 1,000 megabytes a second. Can also record with Blackmagic cards, is certified with that, is also indestructible for the most part. And then our Envoy Pro Mini, which is really the only thumb drive you'll ever need and is, uh, goes up to 1,000 megabytes a second in, uh, and is a crazy fast little thumb drive. It's really the only one you'd ever need to buy. So within that, we also make docks, and uh, if you have internal storage, that's the 8M2 and 4M2, which is four or eight blades of NVMe storage. So long story short, we make a lot of things and we solve a lot of problems, and really it's a question of what your price point is and what your needs are in your workflow. I have a question. Do you have any, I don't know if one of these does it or if it's in development or something, but like uh, sort of a hybrid card reader and portable drive, like you're on the go, put, pop the card in, download it to a drive. Uh, hybrid card, portable drive. So sort of, we've got a little mini stack over there mm -hmm. that has a card reader on it. Uh, we also have, uh, see this, this has a card reader here, this is the Gemini. So depending on which card slot you have, some of our raids, uh, the, well, that's not as portable though. Yeah. So. Kind of, and we don't have the portable drive side of that today, but we're aware that people might want something like this. All right, cool, good to know. Yeah. Uh, all right, you want to move to, uh, we'll move to the next station. Yeah. yeah. All right, and so next up, we've got some iPad editing tools to kind of walk me through what we got here. So what's interesting about this, right, is how you, we can layer our products together into a complete solution to do something that most people didn't really think that they could do. So what we're doing here, is we turned this iPad Pro into a desktop editing device. And the way that that works is basically all coming out of this little, the one USB-C port on the uh, iPad Pro, we've got a Go dock, which is the only dock in the world that has the external power supply built in, enabling full-on workflows where you can connect multiple devices and sync them up. So we have a Envoy Electron, as I showed you earlier, uh, an Envoy Pro Mini connected to this, and uh, we also have an external monitor connected to this, all running and able to play through LumaFusion uh, with an iPad Pro. So we've largely turned this into a desktop editing device where, for instance, if you were covering a conference, uh, like NAB, for instance, and you had to get home and you had to do a fast turnaround and immediately upload stuff, you might go into your hotel room, take the HDMI out of the TV in the wall, put your iPad on the side, and immediately you've got a desktop editing experience out of your tiny little iPad, and you can turn that content around immediately. Yeah, that's awesome. So we're running uh, LumaFusion here. We've got 
the what are the, some of the ports we've got going in here that we can uh, use utilize with the iPad? So obviously Ethernet is there, but we're currently using HDMI and uh, USB-C on both sides. So, but you could also do USB-A with this device. So USB-C, USB-A, HDMI, Ethernet, and uh, basically all running off this little iPad. Awesome. And now also to clarify, like this is a hub, and this you could use this with a laptop or other computer. It doesn't. It totally have to be works iPad, with right? a laptop as well. Yeah. It's a. It's designed to be an extremely powerful portable dock, but a bus powered dock could not do what this is doing right now with all of the devices connected mm -hmm. to it. So you need something that either has an external power supply, which means you need to carry the power supply around it, or you buy the Go dock and have it all in one, plug it into the wall, and uh, run all this. Awesome. Uh, besides uh, storage and hard drives, what other accessories have you seen that you could plug in USB that, that also work with an iPad? You could do an audio interface. Mm. I mean, so basically, you know, if you had a, multiple microphones, you want to do a podcast setup, mm. you could easily do something like that and even have a second monitor for that as well. It's, it's really limitless, so any peripheral that you might normally connect to a Mac to deliver a solution, it's going to get enabled through the iPad and the dock. Cool. Well, thanks. Uh, now I'll jump over to the next next station. Awesome. All right. So now uh, we're at the end, and what do we got here? So this is uh, the world's fastest jellyfish. We just got best in show, actually. So you came here in a timely time. Nice. Congrats. Uh, but uh, this is the Jellyfish XT, which is the first all-flash jellyfish built on a 100 gig Ethernet backbone. Uh, there's 300 terabytes of flash storage here in a little 2U model. It's expandable up to an over a petabyte of all-flash. Basically, your workflow becomes largely limitless. Uh, you take this 100 to the dual 100 gig Ethernet, you hook them into a switch of some kind, and then from there, you cascade out to 25, 50, hundreds of users, depending on the size of your team, uh, and divide that bandwidth up across your team to do things like what we're doing here at this booth, which is Mac, Windows, and Linux living in perfect harmony. Uh, we have 4K open EXRs on Nuke. Uh, we've got DaVinci Resolve, over 25 gig Ethernet going here with 4K open EXRs. Over on these stations, uh, we are running basically every Mac you've ever seen in varying configurations, running Premiere, uh, Resolve, Final Cut on these stations, and finally it's powering the DIT cart in the back with all of our other solutions. And long story short, it's we're trying to present all of it as tunes, seamless, no latency, whatever the codec is, AR, VR, uh, 4K, 8K, 12K, it really doesn't matter. Uh, this thing basically choose it up you know and it's definitely a solution like uh on premise you got a bunch of computers connecting to it yeah and you need some like massive storage shared room, storage 100 percent. but we also have portable jellyfish as well and uh yeah what's sort of the smallest jellyfish because i this is the new part i know you've had yeah. jellyfish before so what's the uh the smaller end of the jellyfish Our smaller jellyfish is the jellyfish mobile it's basically a slightly larger than the thunder bay flex 8 it's got a handle on top eight bays you put it on a table put it up to six ten gigs in the back uh, connect your computers up, turn it on. Within 10 minutes, everyone's editing 4K video, video, no IT required. Cool. And you just got a nice big shared storage everyone can work off of. Exactly. All right, cool. Uh, well, thanks a lot. I appreciate hey, it, Sam. appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. All right, thanks for watching the video. For more of our NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist right here. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.